Hey guys, it is Vivian, and welcome back to another video. So, as you see, I'm just doing a little bit of Hunter here um, at the Ginico, trying to get 200 mil Hunter, and I'm just playing. I'm only 13.8 mil uh, Hunter experience right now, but what I'm, what I'm actually doing is I'm trying to get some Marble Vine so I can make the Juju Hunt, Juju Farming Potion. So, when I ever do the, uh, whenever I do some farm runs or some herb runs, I'll be able to get more uh, more produce. I th is it produce? No, more, just more yield. I uh, believe yield is the correct term for that, but... I'm going to be growing some, I think I'm going to be growing some torstals as well as some dwarf weeds to save a little bit of money when I'm going to be doing, um, when I'm going to be doing uh, overloads because I need to make a bunch more overloads for when I do some PVM. Uh, so I need to get onto that and I'm not sure if I'm going to be using my enlightenment aura on that. I'm not sure what I'm going to be using my enlightenment I'm not sure what I'm going to be using my Enlightenment Aura on, um, so feel free to let me know in the comments down below if you guys know, you know, have any suggestions on which I should use, on what skill I should be using my Enlightenment Aura. But really, all I'm doing on RS3 right now is just waiting out to get my completion escape because I did I did manage to get 120 Dungeoneering. Um, I'm going to upload a couple more videos around 100 uh, around 120 Dungeoneering, so that'll be fantastic. Um, I'm going to upload, obviously, the How I Got 120 Dungeoneering very, very shortly. Oh, no. Yeah, the, very, the How I Got got 120 Dungeoneering, um, I'll, up, I'll be uploading that video very, very shortly, just to give you guys a couple of tips on how you guys can get perhaps 99 Dungeoneering or 120 if you're going for it. Um, now, obviously, I'm not the best Dungeoneer in the world, but I do. I did manage to get 120 Dungeoneering, and uh, if you guys have seen me on stream when I do some PVM and stuff, I'm, I'm not very good at PVM, um, but I, I'm a little bit better at Dungeoneering than I am at PVM, because I've got more experience in Dungeoneering than I have at PVM. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to get better at PVM for you guys, but, uh, you know, when I'm streaming on Twitch, I do tend to just muck around and have some fun, and some people take it a little bit too seriously, which, you know, people call me crap at this game, and people do all this, say this, and say that, but, I don't know, sometimes I just don't realize that I really don't, I don't know, I don't really mind um, that people do that, because, you know, there's a lot, a lot of the people do enjoy it, hence that they, you know, they stay, and they hit the follow button, and they, you know, leave some nice comments and things like that. Uh, but there are a couple of people that generally get a little bit annoyed when I'm doing next, <laughs> and I just my, my I've got my ability queuing set up, and you know I've I've got ability queuing on, but I don't actually use it properly. Um, and I've also got uh, my my interface settings on which the screens like I'll have um, I'll have a bunch of different like for example if like my stats were here, um, I'd have like my ability bar up here, and I have like. Uh, maybe for example, if I get my prayer here, I'd have like my prayer like that. Like this is this is a little example. Um, if I had my screen like set up like this, I'd get so much hate regarding this. But <laughs> it's it's really funny. I don't know if you guys actually get annoyed at that, but um, you know it's 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 good fun. But it's currently 10:12 a.m. and that means the reset uh, well, in Australia or on the eastern eastern coast of Australia, and I'm on the Gold Coast, so. Uh, for me, the reset every day is on 10 o'clock a.m. So what I'm going to be doing now is going to go head over to Playroom Ports. Um, hopefully, I manage to succeed the mission in which... Succeed, no, not, not succeed. Hopefully, I get a mission in which I can set off my scroll mission. Because in the past two days, I've set off two scroll missions and they both come back and they failed. And I'll show you guys how close I am to actually completing the completion escape requirement. Um... Now, the only requirement I have left for Completion Escape is the Reef Walker Scroll, uh, which is really, really painful. If you guys are doing if you guys are doing Playroom Ports, please just get that out of the way first. It really is a pain. It's really, really annoying me right now. Uh, but, you know, it's I'm so close to getting it done. I'm going to get my Captain's Log real quick. But, you know, one I was going to get 120 Dungeoneering as my last, uh, as my last requirement for Completion Escape. But I figured I'm going to be, as soon as I get the completion this cape, I'm not going to be wearing the Dungeoneering cape very often. Obviously, I wear it every now and again because it's a nice cape. It's a very prestigious cape, in my opinion. Getting 120 Dungeoneering in comparison to, like, all the other 99s is, you know, it is quite a step up from the other 99s. 104 million, 140 million in a, in a skill is obviously quite a lot. Um, so it is a very, very nice achievement. Now, this is just a little bamboo mission, I think, so that's, I'm trying to get some bamboo just to upgrade some stuff. Now, if I go quickly, where's my voyages? So, I need to quickly log out and log back in, but I'll just quick hop on a world, and I get put back outside, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have to put my bank pin in here any second, in before I have to, hold on a sec, voyage list, please be a, s scroll, yes, oh, days, man, okay, it's good that it's just morale as well, because generally, they just keep getting split up. Like, for example, my last two missions have been morale and seafaring. So what I'm going to be doing here is loading up my morale because I really need this mission. Um, hopefully, I can get above 60%. Uh, Steve, or Hellfire Mage, he suggests uh, getting 69% on a mission. You know, it's... 
Uh, I think it's a rumor, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's something that will increase the chances of surviving the mission. And uh, you know, it may be a joke, but I'm not I'm not taking it as a joke. Okay, I'm on 67%. I'm not sure if this will be able to pass. I've sent the last two on 60%. I'm not quite sure if I can actually upgrade anything any further. I'm going to quickly double check because this will be worth my time double checking. So I've got 2.5k morale. I've got a bunch of 2.2k morale and a 2k morale. I really need to upgrade upgrade my crew as well. 67%. At this stage, I really don't think this will pass. If it doesn't pass, I'm ugh, I'm going to be so mad. But um, I should be able to, it should be able to pass, you know, 67%. Oh my days. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna quickly double check all of this. So I got 950 morale instead of 800. So that's good. That's perfect. I've also got Eastern relics, which is the highest morale I can get. Another Eastern relics will be here, hopefully. Yep. And a blazing lantern hole, which is 1.4k uh, morale. So let's send this off. This is gonna be the last, hopefully the last uh, scroll mission voyage. It's done. 19 hours and 24 minutes. So next reset, I'll be able to, you know, bring you guys a little update and sh tell, hopefully, come to you guys and tell you that I've actually completed the scroll. So that's um. So that's the scroll mission done. Hopefully, you guys, uh, you know, leave some support in the comments below. Hopefully, um, saying that. Uh, hopefully that I actually get the scroll mission pass. So that's my last completionist requirement. But hopefully you enjoyed this little this little video. Uh, if you did, let me go. With, let me know with a like and a comment and stuff. Uh, but you guys have absolutely be, you guys have absolutely been destroying it regarding likes and comments and things. So hopefully you guys keep that up. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.